And what's the albatross hanging over OpenAI's neck? To get an understanding of this, in 2015, this dream started as a nonprofit to actually be able to stand up for people, for humanity, and create an artificial general intelligence that was both competitive to Google and was available. And about a billion dollars was invested into it. But in 2019, they saw their transformer models were really starting to do something special. And that's when Microsoft came in with another billion and started seeing this as are we continue to be nonprofit? Because remember at this stage, that's about four years into the business, right where Fathom is now. There's no profitability and as a nonprofit, it sort of implied that they were more of a research arm, more of something good for humanity, which is one of the reasons Musk has tried to sue them and other people are sort of upset. How do you actually make that transition? Well, they've already done it with the loading of money, billions from Microsoft in the upcoming years. And as ChatGPT came out, you've all seen it. This is getting bigger and bigger, but the key is as Fathom grew, its model was based on $150 transcription cost going to nothing by AI. Very simple, right? Well, all the AGI companies see this huge training cost, almost all the investment goes towards the training costs and the heavily expensive engineering talent that's being incredibly competitively paid. So you got expensive engineers and an increase in compute costs that isn't going down. And you have people like Microsoft having to run electricity off of three mile nuclear plan. And you see like, that's a lot of difference. And we haven't even touched on what are they really gonna do with content? How are they gonna make this thing smarter? So if their investment strategy really is create this big moat of AGI, how possible is that when you have tens of billions invested in other companies like Anthropic, XAI, Meta's investments, Google's investments? Do you really think there's going to be one AGI to rule them all? Because that's what the gamble is. And is their technology so different and so proprietary? Because the data training is what matters so much, which ties into what synthetic data and the promise of that is to actually make this thing scale. Meta threw 15 billion at the metaverse for what? People without legs? Now they're throwing 15 billion at AI. And certainly each one of these companies is gonna make an inroad, but is all this AGI needed? And that's why this thing is so crazy. And so many have even talked about open AI going bankrupt. It's not impossible. They didn't get the 6 billion they just got. They were burning 5 billion they'd have been out of business. Certainly there's enough money to go around and the bubble will last a little longer. This one's supported by crazy billions. But the key is, what are they really building? And do we really need seven different AGIs to change the way we live? And would that build the love that Richard White's Fathom gets from its customers? Or will it build a choice to go somewhere else? We'll have to see. We have two AI companies, and what happens to them will shake the foundations of the AI industry. OpenAI's grand vision has two critical factors. It must lower compute costs and must be the undisputed leader in artificial general intelligence. It must create a moat. That's what they're betting on. That's where the billions come. But do moats even exist in the age of AI? Remember how Google search dominance seemed unassailable? Yet here we are, is that an old model? This is a big Las Vegas bet going on. Fathom is a much clearer picture, isn't it? It's an acquisition target, if nothing else, has its own tech and a growing loyal customer base. And what we're looking at with OpenAI, it will have to have the same thing. It does have proprietary tech. Does it have a loyal growing customer base? It's certainly not an acquisition target to succeed. It has to own the AGI space. That's what OpenAI's whole gamble is built on, predicting that future. And let's face it, that's the trillion dollar dream because that's what these companies are chasing. But is it even real? Fathom's approach of solving real problems, owning their tech and fostering customer love is not just a safe bet. That's sort of what OpenAI at a much bigger level has to do. See, OpenAI is swinging for the fences, going for a home run, and Fathom is just doing the business model. And that's what's missing. And that's why this AI bubble doesn't really encourage business models. 
the, the AI race isn't just about who can build the biggest, baddest AI. It's about who can build a sustainable business in a landscape that's so shifting and there's so much money and it's not just a U.S. Silicon Valley game. And that steady growth, that tortoise and that customer satisfaction, when this bubble bursts, that's going to be looking sexy again, not just for somebody as small as Fathom, but one of these big players to actually have the discipline, the approach and move beyond the hype. And I want you to ask yourself, in five years, what company would you bet on still being here, still growing and making a difference? And is there really one AGI to rule us all? Because I can tell you one thing, Fathom has a much better chance of owning video, meetings and analysis than this dream of GPT, which still isn't defined and is sort of nice, but where's the business model? Let that shape your perspective, especially you entrepreneurs out there.